Hey folks, today we're going to take a look at the law of conservation of mass. Now, that basically states that the total mass after a chemical reaction is exactly the same as the total mass before. And it was stated by Antoine Lavoisier. Here we have 40 milliliters of water in a Ziploc baggie, 5 milliliters of phenol red, 5 milliliters of calcium chloride, and 5 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate. Now if I place these onto my triple beam balance, you will be able to see that the balance is exactly in the middle. I've pre-weighed these just to check. Alright, and we're at approximately 63 grams. Now what I'm about to do is perform a chemical reaction. The first thing I'm going to do is perform a physical reaction. All right? When I mix the phenol red with the 40 milliliters of water. I'm simply pouring one substance into the other. All right. If it's not all in, we're still going to measure the mass of this Ziploc baggie along with everything else. Now you can see that my water has changed color and it appears to be red. Uh, there is no heat or any feeling or I can't notice any type of chemical reaction taking place. So next I'm going to add my calcium chloride. When I add the calcium chloride to this experiment, we will look for any type of reaction. Now I zip this bag up and you'll notice that the bag is starting to already change colors. It appears to be almost a hot pink type color and it's starting to become slightly warm to the touch. I'm waiting for all the pieces of calcium chloride to completely react with the phenol red in the water. After the reaction is completely done, then you can move on to the next step. Again, we're going to measure the mass of these after the chemical reaction. So we've already seen one. It's a little bit warmer to the touch, uh, and it changed color, which are two signs of a chemical reaction, or possible signs. The only true sign is that the actual molecules have changed form. Okay. Now I'm going to add in my sodium bicarbonate, the last step of this experiment. When I add this or introduce this to the original substance, we immediately notice a change that is taking place. Zip the bag up very quickly and the other one I'll place on top of this now as I'm looking at this bag I can tell that it's starting to fill up with air so there's a gas being released there was also a color change and if you listen closely you can hear the fizzing in the bag this is a possible sign of a chemical reaction taking place. Again, the only sure sign is that the molecules have actually changed. Okay, As that's taking place, I'm going to go ahead and place it back onto my triple beam balance and check to see if there was any loss of mass or gain of mass.
again, you can see that the scale is right at 63 and nearly perfectly balanced. Oh, we just lost a bag. Placing it back on. Most of the time when there is a slight change of mass during a chemical reaction, that is due to the fact that, as you can see, there is gases that are released into the air. So if we take a closer look at the molecules by looking at a model. If I put my chemical reaction inside of this little jar, I may have approximately 40 milliliters of a substance. And when I introduce a new substance to it, and there is a chemical reaction taking place, we might see some bubbles being released and some gases are going up into the air. It may even change colors. And this is all due to the fact that these molecules are no longer the same. They have actually changed or combined with another molecule and released some of the molecules in the air. But all of the molecules are still there. They're just slightly changed. Well, I hope that helps you out.